Gardeners, this is Miss Northrup, and I'm here with some math tips with coins. Everyone has a coin jar at their house, so get it out. Sort your coins. Um, you can sort them by color or find different ways to sort them. You can identify them by um, their name or the shape, um, depending on size. Uh, you can count them. You can count them by ones with the pennies, fives by the nickels, and tens with the dimes. And then at, if you get that far and you've done a great job, you can do equal trades with a partner. I have a nickel, uh, I'll trade you for five pennies. And go ahead and practice just trading. And um, you can do lots of fun math things at home. Hey Creekside friends, it's Ms. Everby here. I just wanted to remind all the sweet kindergarten friends to keep practicing their addition and subtraction facts from zero to 10. A fun way to do this is to take some sidewalk chalk and go outside and practice solving addition and subtraction problems. Also, don't forget to continue practicing counting by ones, fives, and tens all the way to 100. You can look around in your house and find things in there to count, or you can go outside and look for things to count in nature. Have fun with math and know your teachers are so proud of you. Hey kindergarten explorers, it's Miss Pullen here. I just want to remind you to practice your friends at 10. Use a deck of cards. Faces are zero. Aces are ones. Let's play. 7 and 3 is 10, 0 and 10 is 10, 1 and 9 is 10, 10 and 0 is 10. Have fun playing Friends of 10. Hello Fairview Hawks, this is Miss Palmer with a shout out to all my kindergarten mathematician friends, reminding you that math is everywhere. I want to challenge you this week to make up some math stories from things around your house. How many chairs are around your kitchen table? How many trees are in your yard? Remember to draw a picture of your math story and don't forget to write the equation and practice those math facts from 1 to 10, subtraction and addition. Until next time, have fun with math. Hey friends, it's Mrs. Wheeler from Hunters Bend Elementary School. Now is a great time to practice your counting. You can practice counting by ones as you're getting dressed in the morning and see how long it takes you. You can do jumping jacks and practice counting by fives and tens and see how high you can get. It's a great time to start an estimation jar with your family and guess how many things might be in it. You can count to find out at the end and explain your counting strategy to a grown-up. Right now, I estimate that there are more than 40 Legos on my living room floor, so I'm going to go count to find out. Have fun with math! Hi, this is Mrs. Smith from Heritage Elementary. Today's kindergarten math tip is to get sticky notes and a piece of paper and make a 10 frame. Go on a hike collect rocks, sticks, acorns, anything you can find, come back to the house and count how many things that you found. Hi, it's Miss Barber, kindergarten teacher at Hillsboro School. Why not practice your math facts by telling a math story? If Garland jumped three times and Margo jumped two times, how many times did they jump in all? Three. That would be three, plus two is equal to, do you know the answer? Hey Jordan Jets, this is Miss Hastings and I have a shout out to my kindergarten friends. Friends, don't forget to practice counting and writing your numbers to 100. Have you ever played shoots and ladders? A fun way to count and practice writing your numbers is to grab some sidewalk chalk, go outside and make a life-size shoots and ladders game. Write your numbers to 100, don't forget to draw on the slides and the ladders. You can use a dice at home if you have one or a spinner, or if you don't have one, you can make your own out of an old box. Have fun and be creative. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Sanger. I'm the math coach at Kenrose Elementary here with a kindergarten math tip. Look around your house, see if you can find a 10 frame. I found one here in my bathroom. Let's practice some double facts. One plus one, two plus two, three plus three, four plus four, five plus five, have fun! Hey Kindergarten, it's Miss Ray here with a math moment for you and into a whole bunch. There's math all around you. Can you make up a word problem about something in your house? For example, I have five puzzles in my house and I finished one. How many are left unfinished? I can solve my problem with addition or subtraction. Can you figure out both ways? When you do your problem, make sure you draw a picture, you write an equation, and you write a sentence with your answer. Use your sounds and your sight words to spell the words in your sentence um, and do the best you can. When you're done, explain it to some, explain your thinking, sorry, to someone in your house 
and then see if you can solve it another way too. Miss Bennett here shouting out to our Longview Kindergarten kiddos. I wanted to share a great idea with you on what you could do to practice your math facts. We've been working on adding and subtracting between zero and 10, and it's such a gorgeous day outside. Grab you some chalk, get outside, practice those math facts, and maybe even make it a game and race mom and dad. Hey, Mill Creek Chargers, it's Miss Montague here. My kindergarten friends, don't forget to keep working on your addition and subtraction skills. Try an addition and subtraction hunt. Whether it's around the house, you can put post-its around the room and try to answer the problems you find. Or if it's outside, put them in little eggs, put them around trees, see if you can find all of them and answer them on the spot. Have fun! I know that you are all practicing those flashcards at home and working on addition and subtraction fluency. So we have a little math tip today to help you with that addition and subtraction fluency. All right, you ready? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pull two cards. And then Addie is gonna pull two cards also. Um, I, whoever has the greater sum is gonna to get to keep the cards. So I have a seven and a two. In kindergarten, we're working on counting on. So I would point to the greater number, which is seven. And then I would count on seven, eight, nine. My sum is nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 is greater than nine. So she gets to keep the cards. And then we're gonna keep going. Hey Lipscomb friends, Mrs. Behringer here, encouraging you to get outside and practice your math. You can do math facts, the chalk, you can find items in nature to count by tens and ones, and on those rainy days, you can even group items that you find in the home to count by ten. Don't forget, practice counting and your math facts. Hey Panthers, it's Miss Shaw. Kindergartners, I want you to continue working on counting by ones, fives, and tens. Each day, ask an adult for a handful of coins, and use the pennies to count by ones, the nickels to count by fives, and the dimes to count by tens. At the end of the week, you can see what you had total for the entire week. Happy counting! Hi, Scales Kindergartners, it's Miss Gifford here. My family and I have been playing a lot of games together, and I think maybe you and your family have too. I got to thinking, there's a lot of math I can do with these games as well. I can sort by color or shape, I can count by fives and tens, and then I found some counters in another game and some dice. I can solve some math problems. Six plus four is 10. I hope you enjoy these math tips. Have a great day. Hey Sunset, it's your kindergarten math tip for today. Don't forget to study those math facts and don't forget to write your numbers as high as you can go. And important, keep on counting by ones, fives, and tens to 100. Hey kindergartners, it's Mrs. Carlson from Trinity Elementary. I hope that while you're at home, you're practicing your addition and subtraction math facts, reviewing your partners at 10, and looking for 2D shapes everywhere you go. Don't forget about our friend, Mr. Jack Hartman on YouTube, who makes learning fun and helps our brains grow. Hey Thompson Station, it's Miss Jackson, and I've got a little kindergarten challenge for you guys this week. We know that math is so much fun, and it is everywhere you go. Um, so on this screen are some ideas. Anytime you are at home or even on a walk or wherever you may be, look for math. Okay, count the objects that you see. We have a lot of pillows and stuffed animals at our house. So we can use those to make math equations. So many options. Maybe you see shapes everywhere you go. Maybe you can find some markers that are shaped like a cylinder or boxes that are shaped like a rectangular prism. Look for math everywhere you go this week. Email your teacher and let her know what you find. Hello kindergarten friends, this is Ms. Pena from Bethesda Elementary. I wanted to give you a quick um, idea on how to practice your subtraction. Uh, you're going to have to make flashcards with the numbers 0 through 10. You're going to put your flashcards on the table, on the floor, anywhere you're at. And you're going to subtract two numbers. Remember, when you subtract, the greatest number goes first. So here we go. You have 0. And nine. Nine is greater, so nine will go first. Nine minus zero is nine. Good job. Next one, here we go. Ten and eight. Ten is greater, so ten take away eight is two. Good job. Hi kindergartners, this is Mrs. Hal from Clovercroft. And I just wanted to remind you to keep working on your addition facts at home. 
You could use something like a domino to come up with your two numbers. You could roll two dice. You could choose two playing cards. Or you could even spin a spinner from your board game. As you practice your facts, remember that we want you to be fluent, which means we want you to be right, and we want you to be fast. And keep in mind, there's no guessing in math, so if you don't know that this is nine when you look at it, count those dots to make sure you're right. Have fun with math. Hi, kindergartners. It's Miss Polk from Allendale Elementary reminding you to practice your addition facts while you're at home. And here to help me remind you is my friend Bingo. Take it away, Bingo. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. Good job, Bingo. One more. Okay. Four plus four is eight. All right, they get it. Thank you, Bingo. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Miss Dundon here from Crockett with a fun tip for subtraction practice at home. So, to play subtraction bowling, I want you to start by gathering 10 objects, such as toilet paper rolls, and then you'll need a ball to roll to see how many you can knock down. Now, don't forget to write the equation, and I hope you guys are finding lots of fun ways to practice your math facts at home. Keep up the good work. Hi, I'm Miss Smith and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Chapman George Street and this is my son Levi and he's going to be my partner today while I teach you an addition partner game for kindergarten. Um, this is the addition Yahtzee page. It is part of the kindergarten packet. So we're going to play and this is kind of like uh, an addition version of the board game Yahtzee. So we're each going to take a turn. We get two dice. And we're going to try and make each one of these numbers on the paper. All right, so Levi, you can start. We'll put that. All right, what number do you get? I got five and four. Okay, so what number can you make? No. All right, so he's going to write the number sentence next to nine on his paper. So you can write five plus four or four plus five. We're using markers so you can see the numbers better, but you can use pencils, whatever you want to use. And we're going to keep going until we fill in every number, and whichever partner fills in every number first wins. Hey, it's Mrs. Hurt with your GES Kindergarten Math Tip of the Week. Math at home scavenger hunt! Have your kids find two pencils and one blue crayon. Turn it into a number sentence. How many do you have all together? Find five blocks and two pennies. How many do you have? Take away three, how many are left? Don't forget to count by ones, fives, and tens to 100. See you, kindergarten. Hi, College Grove, it's Miss Maury, and I'm here for my kindergartners to give you a little math tip. Um, you can be practicing so many things while you are playing. There are patterns and shapes all around you, but don't forget about uh, practicing our friends of 10 that we learned. You can also be adding and subtracting. We have learned numbers one all the way through 20. So you can be practicing writing those, building those, and also adding and subtracting different objects that you find around your house or outside. You can also get out some sidewalk chalk and practice with that. Maybe build a giant 10 frame with that sidewalk chalk if you would like. Um, we are so proud of the learning that you're doing at home, and we can't wait to be back together. I'm Mrs. Vining, kindergarten teacher at Oakview Elementary. Let's use tens and ones to build numbers with items from our own homes. You can use cereal, paper, nuts and bolts, Legos, craft beads, crayons, or eye tools from Go Math. For extra fun, print out a hundred chart and color in the numbers you've built. Hi everyone, this is Miss Sims from Litskim Elementary School. I just wanted to show you something that you guys could be doing at home to practice some of those math skills you learned in kindergarten this year. The first one's ways to make 10. I use two different kinds of pasta noodles, but you can use anything that you have at your house. Don't forget to write your equation at the bottom of each one that you do. Hey guys, it's Miss Oliphant from Westwood Elementary coming to you with a kindergarten math tip. Let's talk about money. Does mom and dad have some change lying around? Or maybe you have a piggy bank. Let's get those coins out so we can practice our identification or counting by ones with pennies. Why not try some skip counting with fives and tens? Nickels, dimes? Don't forget, there's also some really great videos on Brain Pop Jr. about coins. Hey, Winstead Kindergartners, this is Mrs. Bradley. I just have a little math tip for you. I know we've all played the game who has the highest number where you each turn one card over and whoever has the highest number gets to keep the cards. Well, in this game, you're gonna turn two cards over 
add your numbers together and say them out loud. Eight. Nine. So whoever has the highest number gets to keep the cards. Twelve. Five. Have fun playing!